Well, Brother Joe has been talking up hunting in Arkansas for years now, and finally me and Stubbs have decided we're gonna go up there and try it out. Can you believe this? We are headed out on the first trip of the year of 2020 deer season. Uh, we are fishing, we're crossing the Yazoo River right now. We're headed out to Arkansas. We're gonna be hunting with Brother Joe. I think we're fixing to go smoke some big bugs. Joe's got it all set up for him. Mr. Terry's got the steaks marinating. Joe's got our stand set up. He's been running trail cameras, got a lot of good looking bucks. We're gonna shoot, or I am, the first flipping spike at Stone Yeah. You I'm shoot the spike, I'm gonna shoot the first doe I see. I'm smoking something brown. This brown is down. We don't even get up early Saturday morning. We sleep in. Joe said, look, I've been watching these deer on the coverts. They're coming in. We're gonna, we're gonna have a better chance in the evening. Let's don't go in and bump them. So, uh, sure enough, just like Joe said, this boy's been hunting this place for years. The first evening, we didn't go this morning. We got to Arkansas, and we just opted not to go in the morning hunt. It's kind of hot. The evening, we're gonna go in about 2.30, 3 o'clock, get set up by Joe Garner. and got a stand set up. So we're here the open season in Arkansas. Got your harness sprayed. Just side, sprayed it all the way down and let it dry a little bit. Let the harness dry a little bit. And man, it's just looking really, really good right now. This is the man with the plan right here. That's right. That's Joe right. got us hooked up. We're gonna kill some stuff this week. We're gonna kill them all deer. And you can shoot a squirrel if you want to, Brooks. I might do that. <laughs> I'm finding out some good things on this trip. They got me set up to hunt the whole state of Arkansas. So I got spots everywhere. He's special. I got options. Let's just say that. Stuff is complaining about all my options I got. He got yeah, Brooke gonna help he's got one work. little raggedy ladder stand that he's going to be hunting. 23 years old, they say. <laughs> you know what Brooke don't know? There's been 54 bucks killed in it opening day of season. Nobody gave me that information. Yeah. Your prediction? What is it? My prediction is a three-man kill. Hey, yeah. I like your prediction. Yeah. They dropped me off first and I'm hunting up in the hills there. Uh, Joe's got a spot picked out, hung a stand for me. Uh, he's hunted this spot before and knows how the deer they come off of the, the hills and go down into the valley. All right, just got set up in the tree here for our first set in Arkansas. This is late September. And uh, first time to hunt Arkansas. Keep hearing stuff behind me. Well, sure enough, I wasn't sitting there very long and I catch movement through the, the trees there. It's a real thick in there, but I catch movement and it's a doe and it's milling around eating acorns and Right before dark, I catch a glimpse of antlers coming through the, the bushes. There was actually two bucks there, because I could hear them kind of sparring a little bit. They weren't really fighting, just kind of sparring, early season sparring. The deer comes out where I can't shoot. There's a limb straight in my way, but you can see, the camera can see him perfectly, but I can't. I can't get a shot, and 
if he made about three or four more steps, uh, he would be in an open window and I would get a shot, and that just never happened. He turned around, went back the way he came. Well, getting an opportunity at a mature buck the first evening in the stand was awesome. And you can bet that I'm going to be back. Even though I didn't kill one, I know what's there, and I, I know what early season has to hold for us up there. Now this is the first evening, the first time I've ever hunted Arkansas. Uh, never even seen the stand. Joe had the stand put up for me. He told me, he said, get in there, they're gonna be deer in early. Hey, you just wanna see if I can get it done. Man, old Matt, ready. All right, folks, here we are. Kicking off the 2020 deer season. September the 26th, I believe, yeah. We in Arkansas. Been a, quite a few days since I've been in the woods with the old thick string, but it is mighty exciting. So anyway, 2020 season is kicked off, officially kicked off. I've set up my bows and a stand on the hanger. I've got my GoPro sitting up above me, catching a second angle. I got this camera on it. It's uh, all I'm doing is waiting on the boat now. Deer start coming in early, uh, does, and about that time I see one coming that I consider a shooter. He comes in, him and I think there's a doe with him. They, they mulling around there, they're eating. And this flipping buck faces me. I'm talking, he stays facing me. I go to draw, I bet you, a half a dozen times, and we're talking 20 minutes here. And every time I go to draw, he goes right back to face me. I laid it right between his neck and his shoulder blade. Boom. I bet he didn't go. He run to his little creek there. He run to that creek. Wasn't, wasn't 35 yards. Hit the creek, started up the bank. He was back in the creek. I had, had my first buck dead in Arkansas. Hour and a half of daylight left just to sit there and watch. And, and there was, there was more good deer come in. May have done shot one over there. I tell you, you see. May have shot a seven point. I may have watched him die. Oh. Well, that's what you call no tracking required. That is no tracking required, my friend. He tried to go up that bank there. He went up that bank, he fell right back in. That was it. That was it. I need a rope. A rope around them antlers. Just a little fitting to get wet. Yeah. I guess the worst thing can be is a wet boot. Tell you about his own. Yeah. That's him. That's a good dude to shoot right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's all he's ever going to do right there. Oh, there goes Thug. Yeah, dang it, got water in my boots. You did. Tie a rope to that sucker. And they just drag him back across. Oh, 
Oh God. I ain't feel both of them up. Got in and lo and behold, I'm talking 5.30 this evening. I uh, sitting there in a little creek here. I seen a doe in this buck on the other side of the creek. Well, one minute a minute till I seen them hit the creek. And I had all, it was early. So I wasn't even, bow was hanging up. Nothing was ready. When he went behind that bluff coming up the creek, I got everything ready and everything on, got stood up. He come in and for about, I guess 25, maybe 30 minutes, he never would present a shot. Well, I knew it was fixing to be over with. I wouldn't take the quarter and shot to me. I wouldn't take the quarter and shot to me. And finally, when he moved around to my left, I said, I can slip right in over his shoulder. There ain't no doubt the angle I had. I said, this is gonna be it. So a heck of a start. Big shout out to Brother Joe. Give God the praise. We had a awesome start to deer season right here in Arkansas. Well, I'm Brooke with Real South Hunting, and I wanna tell you thank you for watching the show. And I wanna tell you how you can keep up with us in real time. If you'll go to our Facebook page, give us a like. If you'll go to our Instagram and give us a follow, that will let you keep up with us as things are happening. You can also go to realsouthhunting.com you can check out some of our content on there. You can also purchase a hat there in our online store. We have over 30 different styles and colors. Each purchase helps us create the content that you're seeing now. We appreciate you watching the show. We appreciate each and every one of you that go out there and buy a hat to show support for Real South Hunting.